The Colossals created all of the monsters in the monster world. What they didn't create though is the Titans and Magicals. Today we're going to be going over where the Titans and Magicals came from and how on earth they were created. We know very little about where the Magicals and Titans came from. What we do know though is this. We know that the Titans moved in into the spots where the Outer Islands were in the Dawn of Fire period. We know that Phosphorus Home is the prism dimension, the dimension that is inside of the prism gate inside of Dawn of Fire. And we know that the Magicals and Titans came after the Dawn of Fire time period, not before it. Unlike all of the rest of the monsters that were born inside of that period, making them very special monsters and actually monsters that we know little to nothing about as the rest of the monsters inside of the game were created by the Colossals. So if we know Enchantler moved from the original dimension into where it occupies now, with that being the Magical Sanctum in the Pocket Dimension, and we know that Phosphor moved into where it is now from the Prism Dimension, dimension, where did the rest of them come from? As these Titans have got to have come from somewhere and been born through some means along with all of the Magicals. If the Titans can cross across dimensions though, like Enchantler and Phosphor did, which they clearly can, the ballpark is open for them to have come from anywhere. They could have come from absolutely anywhere inside of the monster world. However, I do think there are some theories to make here. It's impossible to theorize, I thought, but then I saw Bridget. And let me tell you now, guys, I think I have pieced together what looks to be where the Magicals came from. Bridget's apparently wait for you in the underneath. The underneath, huh? Well, the underneath, let me tell you what on earth that is. The underneath is an area inside of Thingia, a dimension which Flutter comes from the mysterious creature that we see inside of the Ambered Thing. But wait, hold up here, guys, because it does not end there. If we'll take a further look at Bridget. Apparently they talk of mysterious winged monsters flapping in the night, which clearly is on about flute fly, but could also be on about flutter. Flutter is a clear reference that I see inside of this bio. It's so mischievously hidden and I know how much they play around with the bios, making sure that they can hide things inside of them that come back years later, like Wobox's playground that turned into the playground app that we know right now. There's so many things hidden in them bios and Bridget talking about the underneath and then all of a sudden it going on about also mysterious winged monsters flapping in the night it's clear to me that this is a reference to the underneath but guys i was already going crazy at this point but then i also noticed hippity hops bury their way underground to their home but hold on hold on here yes the underneath is an underground area so this makes complete sense if fairy magicals do originate from there but wait a minute here is where i was blown blown away because inside of Cantarell's bio, it reads that their caps emerge from the earth. And if we take a direct look at the underneath right now, if we'll see mushrooms sprouting underneath inside of that area. And this is a clear reference towards that as it's literally referencing the caps on top of Cantarell. And those caps are literally almost the exact same as the ones in the underneath. I'm in full motion right now, guys. There's mushrooms in this area and there's Clearly something going on with all these references and all of the Titans coming from different dimensions in the Magicals. But hold on. So now we know Phosphor came from the Prism Gate dimension and we know Fairy Island's Titan facade came from the underneath in Thingia and Enchantler moved from the Monster World into the Pocket dimension. Then what about the rest of them? What about Psychic in particular? I was fully going now and I was ready to conquer this theory. And when I read Bonkers as bio, it just completely clicked for me in an instant. Bonkers apparently makes out its thumping on Stump Ease. Stump Ease is clearly a reference towards Thump Ease. <laughs> and it's clearly referencing that beforehand too with the thumping that it's on about there. And I clearly see this reference here. It's clearly a reference towards the Thumpies verse. This is no short sightedness that is going on here, guys. We've got clear references to different dimensions inside of each magicals bios. Across all of the different islands, we're seeing direct references to one specific dimension. I mean, not only is this a reference right here, guys, but then if we venture further down inside of Bonkers, it goes on to say this tree is no great tree, which is on about the great tree inside of the Fumpies verse. And this is it right here. This is where the theory just clicked into position for me. And I realized that the psychics come from the Fumpies verse. 
this also. Which, at this point, this is just an insane theory to have. But we're at the rafters now, guys. We've got to go into it. Krov laughed comes from the Fumpies verse, and we have one left to figure out now, which is Bone Island. But what about Bone then? Well, this is where the theory started to break apart a bit for me. Well, at least at first, I thought so. This may be a theory breaker, y'all. Or so I thought, but what if we don't know of one as of yet? All of these dimensions that we've popped up, we've known about, but what if this is referring to a dimension that we are yet to discover? Now, this is a very extraordinary theory going on here, but I feel like, seeing as all the rest of them are hinting towards separate dimensions, Bone must also be doing that. I don't see it being the case that they are going to leave one island out from the equation. So let's go into what I think this dimension could be. Now, I started thinking about all of the different lore tidbits that we know behind Bone Island, and I started to realise some things that didn't quite click. For example, how does Wither get its skull from the Dawn of Fire time period? There's literally no remains from the Dawn of Fire time period. We know that there's some underneath, under the ground, inside of the monster world. That's where they got the crystals from, for the crystalline castles. But that is besides the point, because these are really rare things to find. And yes, Bone Island may be situated underground, but I feel like that's going to be a really hard thing for Wither to get his hands on. But not only that, guys, because Pekidna, apparently my favourite monster, apparently protects itself with its shell from itchy tummied giants. And then I started to realise, giants? The dawn of fire, you don't say, and then it clicked for me. In an instant, I was filled with this theory, and I knew I had to make this video. Because I saw what was going on here, and I realised, could it be the Colossal's home dimension? Now, this is where I'm very unsure about this theory, but how on earth could Wither have got that skull? Why on earth does Pekidna need its shell to protect itself from giants? I mean, sure, it could be on about the Titans here, but the Titans came from separate dimensions that we're on about potentially inside of this theory. So if that is the case, then clearly they are going to be protecting themselves potentially from something else as they are situated on top of the Titan as well. So I don't see it being the case that it's referencing towards the Titans at this point. And then I also started to think about missing plot points inside of the game, like where the Colossals are inside of Dawn of Fire. I mean, sure, I asked this question on Rising in Monsters Live and they gave the answer, they're all around everywhere, but I feel like they must be situated somewhere. So is this the missing plot thread. Is this where the Colossals hang out? Was this where the great song was performed? Is this where they are inside of the Dawn of Fire? All of these questions have remained unanswered up to this point. But if the Colossal's home dimension was to be a thing, then this could fit this theory entirely together. That's the only reference that I can see inside of the bios that I am aware of going off of the knowledge that I know now. Of course, they could introduce a completely new dimension and that could situate the Burn Island Magic but as of right now, I think that is the best theory to come into. So we have all of those titans on screen now that came from supposedly these dimensions. What an insane theory, guys. But hold on a minute here. Now we know the locations behind these magicals and titans. How on earth did they come into being? Recently, we've had the addition of the Colossal Sigil, and that being the sigil that marks the creations that the Colossals have made. Specifically, though, with the magicals, that is not not something that happened. We know that the Colossals didn't create them, so what did create them? Well, going back to this, I think we need to go back to the Colossal Sigil. If the Colossal Sigil represents the Colossals, then who's to say what created the Magicals doesn't have a sigil? And guys, there is a specific sigil that comes to mind that has appeared absolutely everywhere for the Magicals. And in fact, it's even described to be the symbol of the Magicals overall. So seeing as though this is the case, what if this could resemble the creators of the Magicals and Titans? It's a bit of a stretch, I know guys, but when you've discovered that the symbol that we've known for years about suddenly has a meaning, you can't tell me that this one doesn't. It's the symbol behind the Sanctum. It's the symbol that could resemble the Magicals and where they came from. Now this Magical Titan creator, who, what, where, how? <laughs> I don't know where they've come from, but I feel like this is just such an insane theory to put forward and will be such a cool addition 
function if it was to be implemented. This symbol is another symbol that we've seen everywhere for the Magicals, and having that be the symbol that resembles the Magicals' origins, whatever that may look like, would be such an interesting concept. Yes, we have been over where the Magicals did come from today, but I do think there's lots of mysteries left to be had with the Magicals. If you would like to see some more theories from me, please do let me know down below, and make sure to let me know what you think about this one though, guys, for now. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, and to subscribe too, guys. Bye.